guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back to me and um, i just filmed this look here it's a really glowy christmasy look and um, very very easy to do easy to follow steps i promise i'm using some of my favorite products as well and um, it's going to be a voiceover this time compared to my normal tutorials which aren't voiceover that's a lie they are and um, it's going to be a voiceover and what i'm going to do is I am going to show you the exact products that I used, but I'm also going to just speak in general a little bit because, you know, if you don't have these products, I know at Christmas time it's kind of hard, you know, you want everything. I'm just going to say the colour tone because a warm brown is a warm brown, a deep brown is a deep brown, a neutral is a neutral, a bright is a bright, a glare is a glare. You know, are, you, are, we, are we on the same page here? If you like this video, please subscribe down below, give me a comment, like this video, um, and also the comments, if you want to comment any videos you'd like to see in the future, um, I'd love to see them. So. so we're starting out with my bare face, and I'm mainly going to be using the Master Palette today from Blank Canvas. So first of all, I'm just going over with Lily just to set my primer, which is Rouge Nudie by Push. Then I want to take my shadow shields because I want a really sharp edge to this look. So I want to start with Forza as a transition shade and you just want to blend that transition shade above your crease. This will help everything else blend up into it. So next I want to go with Cocoa which is like a mid-toned brown and I want to focus that mainly on the outside but do blend it into the crease as well. Then I want to take a BB08 by buff and blend and this brush is a godsend there's nothing on this brush you're just using it to blend out the edges so the next thing i want to take is downtown which is a pretty neutral brown i'm focusing this, this mainly on where the wing is going to be and then whatever's left in the brush i'm just bringing it into the crease we're building constantly so we want to get deeper and deeper and deeper so with hickory again i'm focusing it mainly where the wing is going to be but then blending it a little bit into the crease, not adding anything extra to the brush and just blending, blending, blending always with that BB-08. If it's not blended, it's not ended. And basically you can just add colour and blend, add and blend until you get the intensity that you like. So now that we have our kind of transitional shades, I'm going to go in with Corruption and I'm really going to focus that on where the wing is going to be. And the brush I'm using is an E10 by Blank Canvas. So it's great. It's a really small brush, but quite fluffy. So next, I want the lid to be quite light. So I'm going in with Rudy Nudy by Push. And I'm going in with an E44 by Blank Canvas. And I'm just going to press that onto the lid. And then I'm going to push it in with my finger. That'll help blend it with the eyeshadow as well. I'm just going over with Goddess, which is the shimmer shade in the Master Series. So next I'm going in with a mixture of Forza which is warm and downtown which is neutral and just along the edge where the two shadows meet I'm just going to blend a little bit with those. So going in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Dystopia I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I really like using this as an adhesive um, because it's not as drying. And then with Inglot Body Sparkles in number 51 I'm just going to pat that on top of the lid with a flat brush. Next I'm going in with Lana Girl, I'm going in with Schwing, Schwing from The Balm and I'm just going to use that shadow shield to get a really sharp edge. As you can see I can just kind of throw the liner on there and when I take it off you're going to see that edge is going to be snatched girl. Yeah. <laughs> So these are pretty new to me. These are the Moxie eye catchers and they are the best thing ever. So basically they're loaded with eye makeup remover and I'm just going to drop some on my computer now. <laughs> um, but they're loaded with eye makeup remover so they're perfect for cleaning up under the eyes and it's only 4 50 for a pack so it's great. So I'm going to go with a black liner now. This is Mr. Right Now by The Balm. I'm just going to put that on the upper and lower waterline and then taking a really small flat brush. I'm just going to work on smudging that out. At the moment there's nothing on this brush. I'm just smudging it out. And then on my E10 I'm taking Forza again. And I'm just giving a bit of warmth to the end. Going with my favourite lashes which are Aurora by Glam Co. Now moving on to my skin. 
I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and Kaylin Super HD Foundation in 04. This foundation is amazing. Such good coverage and it suits so many different skin types. So now I'm going in with my contour and highlight and I'm using the Contour Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Kit and this is the kit number two, which is more suited to Irish skin tones. So I'm using this warm shade. As you can see, this shade is going to look quite warm and orange when you put it on first as a bronzer. And then I'm going in with this very neutral shade kind of on the temples and under my cheeks to contour. Tap, 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 tap. And then I like to blend out my contour with a brush and then soften it with the Beauty Blender. So next I'm going to take my Cake and Bake sponge, which is so good. And I'm going to bake. Just chill, dance, live the dream. Woo woo. <laughs> so I'm just going to brush off that bake and as I'm doing that it's going to set the rest of the face I just want to add a bit more brightness so I'm adding some sexy mama by the balm and then I'm going to contour with Bahama Mama and the M438 by Morphe and Bahama Mama is by balm also so I'm using the Galactic Face Glimmer. I tried to use this face out straight out of the tube once and it didn't go so well. So now I put it on my Beauty Blender and it is gold, girl. So I broke my opal. I'm still going to use it though. I'm going to use this brush and then I'm going to use Whisper of Guilt by MAC also. Because three highlighters, I mean, it's life. So next I'm going to go with Trendsetter by Huda Beauty. And these lip contour pencils are so amazing and put that all over the lip and then I'm going in with bombshell and bombshell is a little bit warmer but I like the two of them together so on top of that then I'm going to go in with marshmallow bronze and a bit of sticky glue and just with my finger I'm going to press some glitter into that and I just love the glitter on this lip so I think it makes it look so glam you love that video as much as I love filming it. I love my hair. It's very like 70s. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of it. I will be doing a yearly favourites because I'm a basic bitch. Um, but I'll be doing year yearly favourites as well. So I'll film that for next week. So you know what to get in the January sales. I'm good. I'm so good. I'm too good to you. I'm way too good to you. <laughs> anyway, so I will be chatting to you all very, very soon. And I'll see you all on social media. I'll leave all my links. And yeah. Bye. or anything like that I will be doing oh god girl this hair is uncontrollable twist please peace